Here we go. Welcome back. Today we got something different. This is zero trace. Well, this is just a 3D printed case. Well, this is a ESP32 S3 dev board, dev chip. Well, that's zero trace. Is a lot of things and at the same time it can be nothing. So if we take an ESP32 and we flash an amazing firmware on it called Zero Trace, we get one of the best things that I have seen in a while when it comes to a USB rubber ducky or head control type device that has some amazing features just out the gate. Now, in previous videos, we've discussed what makes a product a product. Like what makes the Flipper Zero, for instance, an amazing product where we have the TMBIT CC1101, we have the M5 sticks, we have the uh, car uh, computer, we have all these devices. What makes the Flipper Zero like the king of those devices? Well, it is the firmware, the community, and just how it all meshes together. And I have to say that is what Zero Trace has done with their firmware. So anybody can buy an ESP32. You know, they're a dime a dozen nowadays and they are everywhere. You can go and now flash Zero Trace on your ESP32. And we're gonna dive into it right now. So this is Zero Trace, an advanced remote control system. Let's go back down. With keystroke injection, mouse control, and customized scripting designed for security professionals and pen testers, right? This was sent in for free from Zero Trace uh, and I have to say that I am thoroughly impressed with the firmware that is out there for this thing. Now, looking through this, we have, I'm not, I'm not gonna read all this because this is very, very extensive and I would love for you guys to go check this out and do your own research on all this. But the desktop, they have a desktop app for PC, uh, Mac, uh, I believe Linux as well. And you can see here that once you plug your stuff in, you get this really nice clean interface and as well as a web GUI then that you can go and interact with. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into the web GUI, right? So to get this thing going, uh, there's a little bit of a setup and this is mostly just gonna be an introduction, right? So on the ESP32 dev board, uh, the S3, we have two USB C's that we can use. Now, one of them for the zero trace is for communication, flashing, um, your basic uploading and so on. The other one is for your actual pen testing uh, for the computer that you intend to pen test against. It is important which one you use when you're uh, getting into this. So for now, I wanna show you the setup and to do that, I'm just gonna go to the com portion, the zero trace.pw website. So say if you already have an ESP32 S3 chip that you want to put this on, you can then go ahead and just purchase this. So if you choose to buy your own board, uh, you can see here that we are in Euro. So just use, use the, a conversion calculator to kind of figure this out. But uh, if you choose to get your own little actual uh, from Zero Trace, their, their own board, it's, you're, you're going to be about 47 bucks. Um, the mini is going to be roughly about 65-ish. And then if you just want to go with the firmware, uh, you're roughly looking at uh, $45 ish. But from there, you then you can own this and then you can flash your own system like however you want to. Going back over here to the tablet, we're looking now at my, this is gonna be my, my unit here and uh, we can do script configurations. Um, you can then choose your script that you want, uh, configure them. You can preview uh, your scripts. And uh, if you have different versions that you set up for yourself, you can do that. Uh, you can do the target device, so Windows, Mac, uh, Linux, Android. I'm not going to read through all this because this is going to be a multi-part series. I can tell you that already because there's so much to dive into here. Um, I'm going to try to squeeze roughly three to four videos out of this, and we're going to go through um, the setup of it. Uh, this is this is mostly just an introduction. We're going to go through the setup of this. We're going to go through running uh, your basic scripts, connecting, just kind of going down the line from there. like Kind of like what we did with the Evil Crow uh, version 2. Also like what we're doing with the HackerF uh, H4M or H2. I do want to say and kind of show you real quick like what this can do. So from my from my phone here, you can then wirelessly connect to the, to the Zero Trace. It's Once you have it flashed and set up, 
it's going to then set up its own access point um, and it'll title it a very common name. So like, for instance, right now it's Apple iPhone. Uh, it, it'll be, it'll, it could do Android, it could do Android phone, uh, PC something. It's randomized every single time that you reboot it or you plug it in and plug it, you know, disconnect it and power back up. And then the default IP for this guy is gonna be 192.168.4.1. And this is what it looks like when you are plugged in. This is This is how it looks right here. One thing that we discuss a lot of times on this channel is using the appropriate cable. Um, I learned this the hard way for this device and I should have known better, but you have to use a USB data cable. Uh, so yes, either USB A to USB C or USB C to USB C, but it has to be a data cable because if it's not, it is not going to function as it should. Uh, we're here, let's unplug this guy real quick because I am in the wrong port. So uh, since I'm gonna be running an attack now on my uh, U console, I need to then go into the USB of the ESP32, and then I'm gonna plug that back into my U console here. And since I disconnected it and I reconnected it, uh, that means that we now have a new access point. So this one is gonna be called Google Pixel 6 ZT. Uh, let that connect. You can see here at the USB area is green. That's what you want, and that's how you know that your cable is being red or is the appropriate cable. That's what you wanna see. And then you can see here that my operating system is Linux. I can then run a attack from my phone. Now, of course, only attack or pen test your own devices. A little disclaimer there that we gotta say. But from here, we can then load up scripts. Now, there are a few default scripts on this thing. We do have shutdown for Windows, uh, logout for Windows. There's a lot of Windows stuff. Um, mouse jitter, draw a square and whiteboard, and then draw a triangle. Now, the mouse jitter does work for Linux, so I'm gonna go ahead and load that in. I just tapped on it, and then you can see that we're loading mouse jitter for five seconds. And then to execute that, we can just go scroll down here, and then we can hit execute. And then you should see here on the screen over there that we are, our mouse is jittering around. So if I move my mouse mostly to the tablet screen, since it's a mirroring, uh, let's do that again. And you can see there that we are just kind of jittering around that mouse. So that is a wireless control from my phone to the zero trace, and then it is acting as a human uh, interface device or a head to that, to my U console. That's just a very simple example of what this can do. We discussed Ducky earlier, so if, if you have been living under a rock for, I don't know, the past seven years now, Rubber Ducky is a USB thumb drive that somebody can load up a script on, plug it into your computer, and then it acts as a keyboard or a mouse, human interface device, and then it'll inject a script at uh, just unrealistic speeds. And from whatever script that is, you can then gather information about that target computer. So that's either gonna be credentials, that can be um, Wi-Fi uh, information, that can be browser cookies, um, really the sky's the limit of what your imagination can do and what your skill set can do to re re retrieve the information for the script that you write for that device. Zero Trace uses its own form of scripting similar to that of the Rubber Ducky script. We go to script and script editor. So we have a few scripts um, that are already written uh, and you can see here that we have the Minecraft mining script um, by Mr. Foyer. Uh, he's the one that kind of is the developer of all this and uh, just a super awesome guy as I've gotten to chat with him uh, the past several weeks since I've been, uh, since I've had this. Um, so uh, yeah, thank you again, bud. Appreciate it. Uh, but if you go to the script editor here, uh, let's see here, we can create and edit our own script converter. There we go. So the cool thing is, is on the converter, if you have a favorite Ducky script, say we go to, to Hack5. If we go to the payload, we can see here all the scripts that are currently written for Rubber Ducky. And then of course they have them broken down for their other devices as well. But if you just want to go to and find a Rubber Ducky script, you can select a category. Um, so let's go to device, right? And I'm going to go to Rubber Ducky or Ducky. From there, we can then also select a device of what you, of what you want to do. So if we go to to category here and say I want to go to and uh, do some kind of prank, right? We could select a script 
Okay, you got any grapes? So the, here's a Palo TX. Now we could copy this raw, and then we can go back to the dashboard here, and we should be able to paste this script, and it will convert it for us into the zero trace output. Now, a few things here, we can see that there's some conversion notes. Uh, so line, there's a few lines that definitely has some um, issues and such. We could tweak it as we needed to. That's an example of what the dashboard can do and what Rubber Ducky is and some things that this can do on its own. I think that if you, if you want to go to the documentation portion of Zero Trace and just kind of read through this, you have a lot of different stuff. Uh, you can do remote keyboard uh, access into this uh, thing. So I can show you that here. So you can see here that we are actually typing uh, SSH commands and into a terminal from my phone here. Um, and if you want to then use a mouse, we could also do that. So let's just zoom out of this a little bit. And then we have our mouse control right down here. And then, uh, let's see here, oh, there we go, there we go. There's our mouse control. You can kind of see it floating up there, zipping around. Um, so that's that. Here's our file system right here. So the file system, we can uh, create new files and, or new folders. We can actually upload folders. So you can actually just go to the Zero Trace website or you can go to a payload website that has numerous payloads for a ducky scripting, copy and paste them from your device, translate them, then upload them remotely to the Zero Trace and then control whatever you need to control or do whatever you want to do. I hope that you find this video interesting of what Zero Trace is. Super impressed with this. Uh, the ability to take just a cheap little ESP32 and create such a clean looking firmware as this. This is the technology that I get behind because it is a solid firmware and the community behind it is growing nonstop. So definitely go check out Zero Trace. Um, I will leave links in the description below for everything. Um, I have no affiliation with them. I don't get any kickback from any of this. Um, I'm just here to support them because this is incredible stuff. Stay tuned for more videos um, because we have a lot of stuff coming. So yeah, check out Zero Trace. Thank you for your time, guys. I appreciate it. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. You can also check out the Zero Trace Discord. I will leave links in the description below for all that. Uh, if you guys find this video interesting, please like, subscribe to the fun stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.